Good morning, friends. I am here this morning at Tractor Supply. As you can see, they still have chicken coops for $3.99. Say $50 was $4.49. <clears throat> and then they have this bigger one for $5.49.99. Say $50. So $50 off the chicken coops. They have many features in this chicken condo. We have a nice locked egg box, but look at here, already falling down. Nice locked egg box. I'm guessing it's a flap that goes here somewhere. Maybe somebody didn't know how to put it together, not sure. You got your little chicken run down there. Nice little chicken condo. I'm only 4'11", but I can stand up inside for cleaning. Just step in and stand straight up. Nice, very nice. I'm sure it comes in a box and you gotta put it together yourself or something. Not sure about the Florida hurricanes, but this one, I think this will be the better option and just add your own chicken. Oh, it's a chicken step inside of the steel construction this is the better option if you're not getting too many chickens but yeah they have chicken coop let's see what else is over here okay yeah they're in a box and you have to put them together all right team we got a little over five minutes so we open up a little over five minutes Oh, they're not even let's uh, get hooked up for Teatro. Let's get our vest on. Excuse me, let's get ready to take care of the customers. And let's have a wonderful day. Let's keep on what you're doing with the pull down and that hurts. Up everything. And as soon as that truck gets here, we'll get rolling on it. Jalapeno pepper. Thanks, oh, guys. they're about to get, get a truck up. in. Wow, I wonder what's on it. It's kind of expensive. You've been down the street. Which one? Of course, of course yeah. Yikes. So one jalapeno, four seventy-eight. Oh, the four packs. One parsley, four seventy-eight. Lemon thyme. Smell Is this it. That climb? Like... Yes, that climbs. That climbs. Oh. Purple basils, bee balms, sweet basils, garden sage. Single herbs for four dollars and seventy-eight fit. Oh, but they do have a culantro. <sighs> culantro, culantro. My friend really wants this. I may grab that for because you barely. It's hard to find. Straight thick, sweet basil. So these are. Six packs for four seventy eight, so that's a better deal. But squash grows so easy from seed; it's ridiculous. <laughs> Whopper improved heirloom okra. Pickling cucumbers, little boy, celebrity, big boy hybrids, and these are the single ones for four seventy eight. Little boy hybrid, Roma. These are the single ones. Ooh. At least these. Tidy Treats Cherry Tomatoes. And they already have tomatoes on them. Husky Reds. All of these are singles. Better Bush. So they don't have many options in the six packs.
but I may grab this culantro because my friend bought it out of the store and it was pretty expensive my garden mentor so I may go ahead and get that Carolina Reaper, 1998. They're pretty big. Green Bell singles again, 478. Bonnie Green Pepper, 478. Woo, I'm so glad I'm growing my own poblanos from seeds. One single one, 478. I really need to sell starts on Facebook market. Red Bell, Sweet Banana. Oh, my, my, my. Lemon Balm, and I think mine is finally coming up. So that's good. I did not plant jalapenos, but I will go home and plant some. So here we go. This is what's available at Tractor Supply in Jacksonville, Florida this week on US1. So here, so here is the burpee seeds that they have upstairs. They up top, they have a garden in the pouch. Vegetables. doing 25% off burpee seeds, flowers, they have the little mixed value packs, and the herbs. have a few of these root uh, <coughs> and bulbs. And mind you, uh, I came for tomato cages to try to hoist up the watermelons in my sharecropping situation. But I thought I'd give you a peek. First 13. I'm not going peas, but now I'm starting to regret it. short and sweet carrots but I am not buying seeds I am on restriction and punishment from this stuff they still have bulbs got gooseberry fig dewberry Is this a I almost want this. 
for eight bucks. Not bad. And I did not get the hydrangea from Walmart. And there's seven bucks here, but I won't see them till next year. So, something to think about. And they have the Seeds of Change selection. Huh, an apple tree in a bag for $14.99. An Anna apple. Wonder if they need poll I think they need pollinators. Stick looks to be decently healthy. So if you need a fruit tree, it won't get fruit for a year or two, but here you go. And an apple at the tractor supply, $14.99. Good way to get everything in one. pepper. I don't see those often. Butternut, butterfly spinach, butterfly spinach. That looks good. Morris Confection. I do need to put out my sunflowers. I have yet to put any out. I'm trying to decide where, but I do need to get them out. That will happen this week. I think I will get these. Little names. I have a shady spot to put them in. For my spinach and romains. Get lettuce already. That is the seeds available at the tractor supply. I don't think I got this far. Herbal tea garden. Let's see what this one comes to. Chamomile, peppermint. Rosemary and lemon balm. Healthy salad. Tomatoes, lettuce, carrots, and cucumbers. Oh, nice. I wonder if they're full size seeds or just a little bit. Oak 
latest that looks good. These are two dollars. No, these are two dollars. These are two seventy-nine. I might have to leave those behind. Emerald oak lettuce. something different you're looking for something special check out your tech tractor supply so we got good books here healthy chickens natural and herbal remedies i will be on the lookout for a lot of these books in the thrift store in fact i did find this one in the thrift store it might have been an older edition but it was in the thrift store um the other day for like two dollars and definitely need a couple of these books in your arsenal for sure. We already know these are the list price on the back of the book, so these are going to be $20. I don't even see any kind of um, like sale on the books right now. Beekeeping for beginners. You still need this stuff written down somewhere. Organic Country Home Handbook. Raising pigs, raising farm animals, cattle health. So, good spot for books when you can't just find what you really want in the thrift store. But always check out the thrift store books every time you go because you never know what you're going to find. Here's some more. Beekeeping. It's what we need. We all need in our house. <laughs> the ultimate survival medicine. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. You do need to check these out. Now, stuff you think, check out eBay. eBay is a lot cheaper. They're 5 and $6 for books. But these books are getting harder and harder to find on sale. So you might want to kind of see what you, you know, make a list of what you really want to have in your arsenal. And be on the lookout. Or just come on and buy it full price. They still have rain barrels in stock. All kinds. these oval tanks for your aquaponics I don't know if they put out coupons I will do some research on that and see what I can find out I don't see a lot of prices on this stuff but even if you wanted to go small with the aquaponics for our small gardeners I mean this would be perfect I am trying, I am here today trying not just to show you, but I am also shopping today. I'm getting tomato cages because I'm going to try to do my watermelons, um, get them up. So my, in my sharecropping situation, and I am looking at options to build something for my own situation because I'm going to try to do watermelons vertically in totes so that's why I am checking out and pricing the fencing supplies because by the time you buy five dollar cages which I do have um, some already at home you could just like get some fencing and get T posts and create a, a wall for your watermelons to grow on. So that's what I'm, I'm pricing out to see what they have. And the uh, price is to see if I can find a more feasible option. Because that's like 10 feet down there. And I'm thinking, eh, it might not be as feasible. 
not with this and the cattle panels are on the other side not sure how to get there but trying to just work it out in my head and figure out what's a good option so this is 10 feet but this is only hardware cloth so that wouldn't work That's only hardware cloth. It's not gonna be sturdy enough to stand up on its own. So here is, here's what I'm looking for, like 50 feet for $50. So that's a dollar a foot. It's, it's just not real tall, but you can double it up if you want it to go real tall. But yeah, 50 feet for $50. So that's still not a horrible price. And I wanna say the T-Post are $5. And then you use zip ties, so you can use them from year to year with different configurations based on your gardening needs. Um, but this is something I was looking at. I don't know if I feel like rigging that up today. So I'm going to go with these for $10. Just to get that up. I'm, I'm going to uh, join them just to get the uh, watermelon up for the day. And then I'm also going to do the contraption at my house. But that is what I'm here for today. And I hope you like the video i hope you saw something and got some ideas from this that you may need and let's get some seeds planted today get something going today here's a one that's a little bit taller it's the one i really need and it's 57 so this is what i'm gonna go with two by four mesh it's but it's only 50 feet well, it's 50 feet and $57, so that's good, a dollar a foot. So I could do a lot with that. So I'm gonna get that and put it in my garage and have it for use. So I hope you like this video and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for all my future updates. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and plant a seed, plant a seed plant a seed bye bye look at this y'all if a tree falls in the wood will there be a sound look at how these trees are leaning and about to fall over that is weird it's been windy here and rained the other night but it's look like it looked like those are permanent <laughs> permanently leaning that way one day they'll end up falling over so here are the cattle panels so I have bought these before you can buy them 16 feet long and they're cheap too so here's one doesn't say the length but they're $21.99 so what I do with these, you can have them cut them in half here at the store. These will have, so once they cut them in half, these will have tines in them. And if you have like a row of trellising plants, cucumbers that, you know, trellis or whatever, you cut it down in half cut this middle bar off so then you'll have spikes to go into the ground you lean them together make a teepee zip tie them together and then you'll have plenty of space for stuff to trellis and crawl so if you're a small space gardening and you want to plant some sugar babies some cantaloupe some things of that nature you can use these and they'll cut them at the store for you well, they have before, so I don't know what they're doing now. But they will cut them at the store for you so you can, you know, try to get them into your car. But um, you can get these, put them together, TP, like a little TP, a tent or a TP, 
and zip tie them together dig them deep enough in the ground they won't go anywhere and you can trellis and let the watermelon grow up and around and train them around the um train them around this trellis and it's only $21.99 so I really should have gotten this and I may just go ahead and still get this and have them cut it they also sell them in the bigger so like on this one it's $29.99 it's the 16 foot so you could probably get more trellises off of this you can probably get like I would probably try four to get um, four four foot trellises off of the 16 foot panel. I think that's what I did the last time and then they broke it down for me and I brought the pieces home. So that is a real good option to trellis your watermelons and grow them vertically if you're trying to grow a good little bit. And as you get a melon, put it in save your vegetable bags they, like your onion bags from the store and put it in the onion bag or those lemon bags or whatever from the store and tie it zip tie it to the trellis and leave enough room for it to continue to grow inside that bag and hang it on the trellis that you build so for $29.99 you could have two like basic grow walls for your vining items your cucumbers your melons your anything that binds up so um this is a good solution check out your local tractor supply then i also have another solution video may sound a little out of order but i came out here after i made my purchases but um hope this gives you some insight and information and some ideas on small space gardening